Hello Cancer the Crab. I am Noelle with followtheplanets.com. I have a lot to talk about so go to my webpage. There's a lot to absorb. You can read about um, all the issues. I'll touch on a few of them here. And Cancer, uh, you are ruled by the moon so really read what I have to say. Um, this is uh, you had you had a full moon on the 29th of December in your sign and then you have a new moon in Capricorn your opposing sign on uh, the 12th and these are positive um, which is good um, the full moon this month is a rough one but first on the 12th uh, this could be really um, the, the trigger the uh, the finality you were hosting uh, eclipses uh, starting at one year ago that ended in your sign and it shifted over the summer and um, and that that made way for a lot of change in uh, in your home and your career and what you identify with with that as well as uh, contractual partnerships. Contractual partnerships are marriages, business, uh, CPAs, lawyers, anybody there's a contract with. So that was under a lot of change and this really I think is ending, kind of finalizing where you've been shifting along in those areas. So um, on the 12th, we have a new moon, and this is a new beginning in your career in a contractual agreement. So you could really be starting a, with a new job, a new career in, in this area, and it's transformative. So your career is under major transformation, and this whole year it was really heightened in understanding that transformation within uh, career, social status, your reputation. And this new moon is really going to ignite the, that transformation uh, in your career in a contractual partnership as well. Um, read more about it, please, on my webpage. Um, January 28th, we have a full moon and it's in Leo and something is coming to an end in uh, your earned income, something about possessions, um, anything that you possess, anything that you use this earned income that you work so hard for to buy things. It's what you value, it's your morale, your ethics, it's, it's, it's um, why you buy the things that you do. Your, you, what the things that you really value to put in your home and you rule the home uh, cancer. So something is coming to an end in that area and, and maybe something you want, you want to show off or expand in is coming to an end and um, it's really up against a futuristic action. And this has to do with groups, social awareness, an institution. It's coming up against some sort of action that you want to use to move into the future. And then not only that, is it's opposition in what you want to expand in with uh, maybe a partner's resources, uh, assets, uh, uh, a merging of energies, including money, sex, and intimacy, and how you want to expand that um, is, is up against each other with this full moon. And it, it has to do, all of this has to do with money cancer so it, it's a stub very stubborn energy in how it wants to move with with money so really watch your money and the way to deal with this is to investigate investigate your money investigate your options and really dig deep into what is going on here so that you have a full understanding not a time to take action with it because you're going to come up against stubbornness, but, but researching it and understanding it will really help you in, under, uh, in, in getting beyond this rough time with the full moon. Down here, I 
we've got some rough days here. Uh, the president's inauguration here is on the 20th. And those two days are the days that Mars and Uranus line up exactly. We're going to see aggression, assertive behavior, anger, and it's gonna be very unpredicted. Uh, we're not gonna know uh, what to expect. It, we're, we're, it's gonna come out of left field. So um, be secure on those days, and it really does start on the 10th of the month, and it's gonna last a while. Um, it's, there's gonna be um, this action, and it, it could be aggressive, angry, assertive, um, that has to do against something around the government, social awareness, expansion. There's a lot going on. So read about that. But these two days, we are <laughs> not going to know what to expect. It will be very interesting. Mercury goes retrograde. January 31st, the last day of the month until February 20th. So go to my webpage on what to do, what not to do with Mercury retrograde. If you've been following it, you know the deal. Review, redo, relearn, rethink, uh, rewrite, retype, re-everything. And um, your, your thought pattern is on this lump sums of money, merging of energies. Um, it's on, you know, what, um, what, what started in the beginning of the month. Okay. Uh, and, and now it's going to come back where you've got to review a lot of those things. So take a look at my webpage. I go to, into it in further detail. There's a lot to absorb here and a lot going on this month. Dear Cancer the Crab, thank you for listening. Uh, I know you go with the flow, but be aware of these dates. Thank you. Until next time.